Okay, so what we did yesterday, but we didn't film it because we thought we had plenty of time. What I did is I added this pump here to oxygenate the water and uh, get some movement in there. Then after a while, Wynn and I decided we were going to put five fish in there and see how they did. So we put five fish in here yesterday and about five minutes later the sky opened up and somebody turned the fan on and let me tell you it rained so hard and the wind was so strong that we had a chance to do nothing right there I just saw the five of them swimming together and they went that way so maybe if you get over there maybe you can see them but they're right there so that's a good sign so anyway the power went out the internet went out I mean it was a storm the trees were bending over and oh yeah so anyway this morning I woke up I got the pump going and there was no fish floating around anywhere so that was a good sign and I walked around this little lead three four times and I never saw any fish so we decided they're still alive and we're gonna empty the tank and put them all in here that first tank we'll see how it does now while I was standing here telling you about aerating the pond I saw five fish about uh, a couple of inches or so below the water but you can see the black running down that way and they went down that way and they were all together so that is a very good sign yeah we worry because last night we have a big rain yeah I told them about that with lots of wind mm. so I was thinking that maybe they would uh, so anyway we were thinking that uh, the rain the wind and all the flashing and everything that the storm was doing on this pond that perhaps they would uh, die because we had just put them in there five minutes earlier but no they did very well and me actually not finding any was a good sign and me seeing them swim by it's an excellent excellent sign so what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time and uh, drain that uh, tank and move them out here we will see how they do yep we're okay let me go start emptying that tank and get them out here before the day gets warm yeah and go from there okay okay so there it is I am dumping this water here we have decided to take and empty this tank put the fish in here and then carry him out there to the pond come back get some more fish over and over until this is empty yeah and then while it's empty I will rework the uh, the way the water gets 
picked up here. All right, so the water is down and probably another 15, 20 minutes and uh, the fish should be in very shallow water where we can uh, net them and get them out of there. All right. Okay, so here we are. I'm standing in the water. We still have a little ways to go. See the fish there. We had to stop for a couple of hours because uh, the electricity went out. We couldn't pump the water out. But uh, yeah, so here it is. Catch him and move him, give him a new phone. Huh? Yeah, that one that's pretty big, I saw that. Yeah. Alright, so let's wait for this thing to pump a little bit more. And then we go from there. Okay, let's go to the new house. Go. Cannot see them. Where are they going? To the bottom. And disappear so quick. Yeah, it goes straight to the bottom. looking for okay this is a size of my my hand yeah they're pretty good size two more weeks we can eat Okay, so there it is. All the fish are gone. Now all I have to do is clean it out and set it up for the next batch. And here's the OG on top of, yeah, on top of the mountain waiting for the next fish. After we put the chickens away, we let him out and he's just going crazy smelling them fish where this fishy water was spilling in here he was looking for some fish now there was a fish that got caught up in the in the pump so he volunteered to eat it so there they are And as you can see, there's a group of fish, and the only reason you could see them is because of the shadow casted by that tree over there. If you go out to the sides, the glare is, is very strong. Yeah. So we've already added some salt, some sea salt, rock salt. Now all we have to do is see what happens. Feed them, keep adding water to this thing. It goes down very little, but if you don't uh, keep track of it, you end up with no water. 
So I think I will leave this on tonight so it uh, put some oxygen in there because now there's 988 fish in here. Yeah. So maybe what I'll do is next time I bring the water down in the uh, in uh, tank number three, maybe I'll uh, pull what 22 fish. Yeah, 20 no, 18 fish, and this way we're back up to a thousand. Yeah, see there's another one right there but it's hard to see because of the glare okay so there it is finally 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 got this pond to hold enough water that we could use it so that stuff that uh that's Semitech or whatever it was in one of the uh, prior videos. That stuff there worked. So now uh, you lose anywhere from three to five centimeters of water per day. But it seems to be slowing down a little bit because if you look right there, the water is over the ledge. That that section. Or that leg, no, that section of the pond is a little bit further down. And then it kind of goes up a little bit there. And then it comes down a little bit right here in the corner. But that's been uh, two, three days since I filled it up. And there's still water there, so maybe it's less than five centimeters don't know yeah but this is the deep end of the pond right here in this little cubby hole and then this gets a little bit more shallow but it's not by much but uh you do have a shallower end here or i just think that it's a little bit more shallow because this section going around this way actually needs a little bit more dirt yeah see this here is some water in there so maybe it just needs a little bit of dirt yeah i guess you do because the bank seems to be a little lower there than here so it's probably level it just needs a little bit of dirt on this corner and that corner yeah that's probably what it is Anyway, we'll uh, keep you updated and let you know how they're doing. So hopefully doing well. All right, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.